which you guys got another video here for you where the edges of your desktop are over the display of your screen. If you're having this issue, then I'll show you how to quickly fix it in this video. You can see here the actual taskbar and start button are literally off the edge of our display here. And on this one here for Windows 10, it's the same as well. Now, this is quite a common problem and it can be a frustrating thing for people to try to fix. And you can use the overscaling to fix and resolve this issue. It's called HDMI uh, overscaling, and I'll show you how to do it. So on this one, uh, you can see here, you can't see the start button, it's completely disappeared. And this is because obviously sometimes people use TVs as monitors and you will get this issue. So let me quickly show you how to fix this. On an Intel-based system, I'm gonna open up the Intel Graphics Command Center uh, by typing Intel in the search here. Inside here, this will open up the application. Go to Display, and then down here where it says Maintain Display Scaling, you should see it down on the list here. I'm just trying to find it here, but it's right in the middle here on Scale, Maintain dis uh, Display Scaling. Go to Custom, and this will open up this little scaling uh, window here. Now you'll see me dragging up the little sliders. Now you can't see what this is doing on the actual uh, TV screen here, but I'll show you that in a second. But basically pull the sliders on the bottom and the side until you can see all of the taskbar and start button again. And it's that simple. On an AMD system, you can do the same thing. They have the same sort of HDMI scaling. So let me just right click and open up the software here and go to display inside here. You'll see uh, an area called display on the top ribbon up here. And again, come down to where it says HDMI scaling. And uh, what you want to do is drag the slider. This one is just one slider and uh, NVIDIA is pretty much the same. You just have to pull the slider until you can see all of display. Now it looks like there's a black bar around the screen here, but that's because I'm capturing the screen and this is the actual result of what you're doing on your main monitor screen or on your main TV screen if you're using a TV. I'll show you that quickly with a little snippet to exactly what happens when you drag the slider on the HDMI scaling. And this happens with Nvidia graphics cards, AMD graphics cards, and also Intel graphics cards. You will have this issue when you plug in, say for instance, a PC into a TV, or something like that, you will have this issue and it can be quite frustrating. So all you need to do is exactly what I'm showing you here. Now let me show you what it looks like on the TV when you drag the slider so you can actually see what it actually looks like. So let me quickly show you what the HDMI scaling is actually doing. You can see the actual taskbar is hidden on the monitor here. All you need to do is just pull this slider across and you will see it just uh, displaying uh, the actual bottom of the start button here and the search and the actual taskbar is now being visible. And this will do this all the way around the actual monitor. So very useful and very easy to do. And you can do this for any particular type of uh, you know, graphics card. It should fix and resolve that problem. As you can see here, the problem has now been resolved on Windows 10 and Windows 11 base systems. So let me quickly show you what it looks like on this monitor here or TV. This is a 42 inch TV. Uh, OLED and it's also LG. It's one of the best TVs for gaming, especially if you have a PS5 or something like that, because it does offer 120 uh, megahertz refresh rate on this screen, which is great for PlayStation 5. Probably at this price point, you're going to get a 42 inch OLED and 120 megahertz, which is really good for uh, game consoles and things like that. And also, uh, sort of computing if you want to use this for a monitor plus TV at the same time. Anyway, that's going to be about it for this video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you want to see a review on that TV, let me know. I've got the TV here and I can quickly, easily do that for you. I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.